What's good everybody, hope you guys are doing good. So today I'm gonna go over a few more stocks that have cut their dividend for May and there might be a few companies that did it in April. There's been a lot of companies that have been cutting guys. So I'm gonna do this little by little. So the first company we got here is Office Depot, ticker symbol ODP. Not Home Depot, not the place you go and you buy stuff and build your house with, Office Depot. In case you guys are not aware, Office Depot is the office supply retailing company. The company has combined sales of approximately 11 billion and they have about 38,000 associates with businesses in the United States. Quick disclaimer, I do not own Office Depot. Also another quick disclaimer, this is not investing advice. This is only for fun and entertainment purposes. I'm not a licensed advisor slash investor. Before you invest, go talk to a professional in your area. Before you do anything, get advice. Okay, that being said, Office Depot, look at this guys. It's been basically down since, what is this, 2008. So after the economy collapsed here, it's barely recovered. Right now it's only $2 a share. Dividend yield was 4.98%. It has a market cap of 1 billion, PE ratio of 11. However, as you can see here, this is from nasdaq.com which is a good site to check stock related information so it says right here proactively adopting a more conservative approach to its capital return program to preserve maximum liquidity and financial flexibility in the current environment the company is also temporarily suspending its share repurchase and quarterly cash dividend so there you guys have it office depot go over here on simply safe dividends two dollars a share and Volatility was very high. The dividend growth has not been very good, guys. It's been pretty stagnant since 2016. Last year, very slow. The numbers look decent, I guess. And then over here, as you guys can see, since 2016, they started their dividend program and they have not raised it at all. It's been consistent. So that's not something that I like. That's, that's not good. As you guys can see on the side, they do pay you quarterly the dividends, and it's about 25 cents per share, which at two dollars isn't bad. But you gotta keep in mind, they just cut it. So you guys have the first company, Office Depot, an office supply store, has cut their dividend. On to the next one. All right, guys. So the next stock I have for you guys, Car Auction Services Inc. Currently trading at $12.30 per share. This is their chart. They've been doing decently since 2009. They had a market cap of 1.59 billion, PE ratio of 17.69, 6% dividend yield. And in case you guys don't know what this company is, I did not, I just found out. They're an auction service, they use vehicle auctions and related vehicle remarketing services for the automotive industry in the United States. Europe, Canada, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. The company operates through two segments, ADESA auctions and AFC. All right, so basically this is a car auctioning company, which makes sense. Car auction services. As you guys can see here, car auction withdraws fiscal year 20 guidance, suspends quarterly dividends due to the bug. So here's the thing, guys. Their dividend yield chart looks pretty good. It goes back to 2013, almost 10 years, it's decent. It's been going up steadily over time, which is good. And then it bumps up really high over here. So that's a good sign. And then I always check over here. It doesn't look like they had to cut it at all. So that's positive. But the market cap is only 1.59 billion, which is, it's not that much. That's pretty small cap. Last year, their dividend growth was very slow. Last five years, it's been very slow. Again, another company, their numbers, they look okay. However, what's so special about this company? I've never heard about these guys. And they are a small cap, average volatility, and the price is about $12, which is not that much. However, like I said, 
that's the way I want you guys to think about this. When you are looking for a stock, I check, is this company unique? Do they offer something that is going to stand the test of time? These guys, uh, like I said, I've never really been into automotive stocks too much. And this is one reason why. I don't know too much about it, to be honest with you guys. And right now, people aren't really buying cars. Who wants to go test drive a car? in this condition that we're currently living in. I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't. So it would make sense that right around here, it just dipped and it got destroyed. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, so the next company on the list is Carter's Incorporated. Carter's Inc. is a major American designer and marketer of children's apparel. It was founded in 1865 by William Carter. Carter sells its products through its own Carter's and Oshkosh Bagosh retail stores, it, its websites, and in other retail outlets such as department stores. All right, so I have vaguely heard of Carter's, but they're not really like a brand that just pops in my head. I don't have kids, so shopping for kids' clothing isn't something I'm aware of. You guys, if you have kids, maybe this is a brand that you're aware of. Just looking at their chart, though, it looks decent. They've been around since 2003. It's had a nice increase over time. This is not a bad chart. It drops and it goes up. It drops and it goes up. However, this drop is a pretty steep drop and they cut their dividend, which is a problem. And their dividend yield wasn't even that crazy, guys. Only 3% yield, 3 billion market cap, which is decent. Let's get some more information about this company. So their volatility was average. Their dividend growth for the last year was 11% fast the last five years it was very fast like I said the numbers look okay and over here on Barron's this is where I have confirmed Carter suspends its quarterly dividend of 60 cents a share after earlier suspending share buybacks this was on May 4th so a few days ago and over here as you guys can see this is a nice this is what you want to see this is nice dividend yield is growing over time and it doesn't look like they cut it anywhere in between while it was on the rise. So this is what I've been trying to tell you guys. Another company that has cut their dividend. Did this company have a unique moat? Was it something special that was going to limit the likelihood of it cutting it during tough times? Maybe there is. Maybe this company is unique and there's something that I don't know about it that it makes it really unique and it's going to be able to perform. You guys let me know in the comments below. However, just based off of what I'm seeing, so far, this is really not a company that was going to last if something like this happened. And plus, the other problem too is they sell in retail. As far as I know, most retail is closed, guys. Unless the essentials, that's pretty much it. So, this is not a company I had invested in. It was not even a company I was looking at. And I will not be looking and investing in this company at all. Period. On to the next one. Alright guys, so this next dividend cut really hurt because I actually do own this one. So, things are not always rainbows and, sh and sunshines guys. Sometimes we gotta take losses and we got to learn from our losses. We can't always win. So, this next one, let's just get over with it. <sighs> well Tower, it's a real estate investment trust company. Right now real estate stock is getting destroyed for the most part. So what is Wall Tower and why did I invest in it? Wall Tower is a real estate investment trust that mostly invests in senior housing, associated, assisted living and memory care communities, post-acute care facilities, medical office buildings, also owns hospitals and other healthcare properties outside the US. That's why I owned it guys. This is solid. This is something I want to get into. I want to invest in senior housing because let's admit, Seniors need housing and they can't afford it. Okay, so this company has been around since 1980. It's been growing, it's been dropping, it's been growing, it's been dropping. However, it's been pretty much growing for the most part. At its high, it was about $90 a share, guys, and right now it is at $42. Market cap of 17 billion, which is decent. PE ratio is 35, which is high. However, real estate tends to have higher PE ratios, it's a story for another time. Their dividend yield was 8.29%. Okay, so Welltower 
dividend safety it was borderline safe it had very slow dividend growth it is a large cap which is something i like however it is high volatility on may 6 they announced that they reduced the dividend 30 percent before eventually cutting the whole thing suspending i should say however it says right here the bug dividend cut and well tower is the first one on the list so that one that one kind of hurt guys it kind of hurts and as you guys can see this is why i like it look at this this is consistent dividend growth they pay quarterly as well however that's the main thing they pay consistently guys they have not cut it almost a dollar per share and they cut their dividend hopefully they reinstitute this thing once things pick up like i said that's the one main thing everyone's gotta look out for is these companies that are cutting are they gonna bring the dividend back is it gonna take years is it gonna take months nobody really knows the answer to that guys but we just gotta wait and see all right on to the next one all right guys and the last company today is gonna be marathon oil corporation simply referred to as Marathon Oil is an American petroleum and natural gas exploration and production company headquartered in the Marathon Oil Tower in Houston, Texas. Marathon Oil is incorporated in Ohio. Quick disclaimer, I do not own Marathon Oil. I'm probably not going to be buying Marathon Oil. Okay, now that's out of the way. It's currently at $5.51. The company has been around since 1991. Their chart looks decent, kind of. So it's had ups and downs, but lately this looks like this downturn is a pretty, that's a pretty hard downturn. At the very high in 2014, it was $40 a share and now it's only at five. Market cap is small, 4.36 billion. Dividend yield was 3.63%. PE ratio of nine. All right, let's get some more information about it. As you guys can see, it had high volatility, dividend growth, not very good. Last five years, negative 24%. Last 20 years, negative 4%. This is not what I like to see, guys. This is why I would stay away from this one, personally. It goes up, and then down, and then up, and then down, and it's, it's been down since 2016. This is 2020, it's four years. Get your dividend back up. I'm guessing their financials probably aren't, yeah, their financials are not that great. And over here, the chart tells us the same thing. They had a nice run over here, going up, up, and then it just dropped. And it's been down. 50 cents per share. They pay out quarterly. But yeah, guys, this is one that uh, oil, natural gas is getting destroyed, and I do not want to get anywhere near this one guys so there you have it those are our stocks for the day there you go marathon oil suspends dividend after reporting 46 million in loss right now we're going through a tough time guys we're going to see which companies are going to be able to come out of this and which companies actually raise their dividend surprisingly there are some companies that raise their dividend guys i'll make videos for that in a bit so anyways thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and don't forget to like the video if you haven't given it a like already, and the bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Peace.